a lot of times when we are trying to accomplish things in life, we'll have those people who will, well, let me explain what I mean by chicken coop. So a chicken can't really fly. It has wings, but it can't fly. And it always, I mean, it can jump up and flap its wings and kind of hop a little bit, get airborne a little bit and hop like, you know, like that. But they can't get up and fly like an eagle can, right? And all they, they are destined to be on the ground. And they have a place where they go in. It's a little house, a little chicken coop. And they go in and they sleep, lay their eggs and do whatever they're going to do. Then they come out. And those are the only type of birds that are supposed to be in there. Of course, the rooster goes in and does what he does. But you will never, ever see an eagle go into a chicken coop. Eagles don't even go anywhere near chickens. They're always in the air flying or they'll land on branches. Or every now and again, they might go down to the ground for whatever if they're sick, they're hurt or whatever. And they don't really hang around. They don't have a whole crew. Like chickens always have a whole gang of other chickens to hang out with, right? And so the analogy that I'm using is the, the people who are in your life that aren't really going anywhere on purpose. They have no intentions of doing better with their lives. They have no intentions of um, being successful in the sense of success they they're comfortable living where they're living and it's not a good place they're comfortable not making any money or barely scraping by or being in toxic relationships abusive relationships letting people use them gossiping to the point of where it is detrimental to other people's lives that's what i mean by chickens living in the chicken coop they ain't going nowhere they're not trying to not the people who are in a season of where they're kind of struggling with things, but they have the mentality of I'm coming out of this. I'm doing better. That's not what I'm talking about. The people who are destined to go nowhere and they are okay with it, or that is their life's intention. I'm going to stay right here. My life is all right the way it is. And they kind of regret you being able to get up and go, having the ability to get up and go, not just getting up and going like the Eagle can, can soar high up into uh, almost, I don't even know how low the clouds hang, but, up, you know, up close to the where the storms come, they fly up high above the storm. I don't even, low-hanging clouds, they can even get, get with them probably. But you have no business going down to the chicken coop and checking on nobody. They fine. They ain't worried about you. You don't see chickens looking up in the sky at the eagles flying by. So that means to me that the people with the chicken coop mentality, they're not thinking about you. Not like, I wonder how she doing. Have you noticed that every time you call to check on folks, whether it's that old dude you used to mess with, that old girl, you, you know, old girl that, you know, y'all used to mess around with, or that cousin, that family member, that old neighbor, uh, the chick you used to sing in the choir next to, whoever, you call to check on them and see how they doing. They never call you and check on you, see how you doing. They in the same space that was in the last time you talked to them, months ago. Maybe even years ago. Ain't nothing changed, girl, you know. Same old thing, you know. Um, uh, KK, he getting on my nerves. Old jive dried up self, and he still messing around with that girl. And I told him, I'm for real this time. You know, those types of stories. They never call you and check on you to see how you are doing legitimately. They'll call and say, girl, what's the tea? What you got going on? Not because they care and they want to see how you're doing legitimately and see how they can help. They just want to know if you know the latest gossip because they, they're the bone carrier. They love pouring the tea. And as long as you sit there and you listen, they're going to keep pouring it. That's being in a chicken coop. When you listen to the nonsense that they, that they got going on. Or what I really cannot stand. This is chicken coop mentality. Show sure enough. Every time you try to do something, they try to stop you. And, and, and they won't come out with the, don't do that. That's foolishness. No, it's the subtle stuff. It's 
this is called pecking to me. I, this is like, you know, a chicken will peck what's on the ground and come back up short. Go down, come up, go down, come up, right? You say, they say, ooh, girl, we going to the club or we going out to eat. That's what, that's the hot thing now, girl. We going out to eat. Honey, I'm going to come by Friday night and get you. And you're taking a class. So you can get a certification on your job so you can get a promotion or you can get a raise or come off your job or get into school or finish school or pass your class or do something that's going to help your household, period. You're trying not to go out to eat because you're trying to save money. You're not trying to go out to eat because you're trying to lose weight. You're not trying to go out to eat because every time you go out to eat, you end up drinking with them or you end up going someplace that you're going to regret going, right? So you say, no, I'm going to pass. Or, you know, let's do something later on. But, girl, come on. You, you Study. You can study later. You got all day Saturday to study. You'll never go out with us. You can do that later. When they persuade you to do it later. Or we're not going to be gone that long. That's the biggest lie ever told a man. Anybody say, oh, we ain't going to be gone that long. Don't listen. Because you're going to run into somebody you know or they have every intentions on keeping you out because they have other places that they want you to go. Especially if they're driving. I've been the victim of that so many times. Oh, it ain't going to take that long. Especially, ooh, ooh, ooh. If you got that one girlfriend, I'm going to help somebody. If you got that one girlfriend that calls you at the last minute and say, go with me to the mall. Or go with me to uh, so-and-so's house to pick this up because I need help getting in the car or whatever. And you like, girl, you know I ain't got no makeup on. Like me, I ain't got my eyebrows on, but that's whatever. My husband and I just finished walking and he was all right with it. So I don't care about that part. But they want you to go out as is, right? They are gonna Even if they're not dressed up, even if their makeup is not done, they don't want you to look your best. And then they're going to have you around some everybody. That's more tea leaves in the tea bag so they can help pour the tea. I used to be the victim of that. Girl, it ain't going to take that long. Go with me over to so-and-so house to help me pick up the whatever, whatever, because I can't carry all of that to the car. And you know she getting ready to leave for work. And I jump in, next thing you know, I'm all over at so-and-so's house looking all busted because I just been cleaning. Or it's a Saturday and I don't do my makeup because I know I ain't going nowhere. Or she know I just came back from the gym. Or know I just finished working out. I ain't funky. Let's do that part. I ain't funky, but you smell like sweat because you've been working out. Just run with me to the so-and-so and the whatever's whatever. Or uh, uh, drop me off. You think you're going to stay in the car. But so-and-so mom in there, uh, Miss So-and-so want to see you. And you ain't going to tell somebody, Mom, I ain't coming in because I ain't dressed. If you from the South, you ain't going to finna do that. You going in there and you going to speak. And your ex is in there and she knew it the whole entire time. Thank you, friend. That's pecking to me. Like a chicken pecking, go down, get what you're going to get and come up. Pecking. If you an eagle, you don't eat like that. You don't go down to the ground and peck in your own feces. You flying high. You ain't got no business at the chicken coop, let alone going in it. That's where they go in and they sleep. And that's when the fox or whatever the other predator is that'll come in and raid that chicken coop. What is it? Um, um, what's the thing? Foghorn, leghorn, the big old rooster, the chicken um, from the cartoons. The weasel, I know the weasel's a predator. Anyway, whatever animal that is that goes in, that raised it, go in the chicken coop and eat the chickens and stuff at night. They all in there, they're vulnerable, they sleep, they come in at night. You ain't got no business going there because I think, where does an eagle sleep? Probably up on a branch, on the highest tree they can find. They ain't going to, to be in no chicken coop to where they're vulnerable by their predator. So what are you doing there? If you hanging with people that's going to put you in a place to where they know people don't like you going to be, that's putting you in a chicken coop to where your predator can get you. Ooh, that was good. I've been a victim of that too. You know that girl don't like me. Why in the cuss word you got me at her mama house? 
The mama's nice. The mama's neutral. The mama don't even know that you and the girl got beef or you used to mess around her man, with her man or you married her ex. But the girl gonna come over there and your friend or your cousin or the girl that you sing beside in the choir, she knows. So she gonna lure you into the chicken coop. And ain't gonna be no fight because we too old for that. But the tension gonna be so high in the girl mama house that she gonna be like, what's going on? And if she's a tea pourer, and she got more leaves to put in the tea bag to brew more so she can pour more tea. Stay out of the chicken coop. And you ain't got no business being that close to the chickens, no way. Now, if you're in a situation to where it's people in your family, people you literally live with, people you work with, people you have to interact with, you can limit your interactions with them. If you live with them, you married to them, they're your own kids, you got some work to do up here. If you can't leave, I'm not telling anybody to leave, but if you can't leave and go to the park, or go and visit somebody else and get out of that toxic household for a little while. If you can't leave, you got to do this up here. Now, if you leave on your own because you can't stay and be in there, I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't going to tell nobody to stay. I ain't going to tell nobody to leave. Because that's whatever. But up here, you got to do the work. You really got to, you got to do the work up here. Right? Because... The chicken coop is no place for the eagles. And you're going to have a busload of people. You're going to have a busload of people who are going to try to get you to come down, at least hang around the entrance of the coop. But if you got somewhere to go, you really got somewhere to go. A storms are brewing. Eagles don't fly in the, in the rain. If they got somewhere to go, they go up above the storm clouds. And they go to where they got to go. The chickens either stay outside and get wet or go in the hen house, chicken coop, and they sit. That's what, else, what else can they do? The eagle will go up through the storm, above the storm cloud, and fly to another town or another part of the town where there ain't no storm cloud. They go on about their business, find a female or a male, go get with their nest, the, the, the kids in their nest, and they're chilling. But the chick, but the uh, chickens, hens, chickens, or whatever in the chicken coop, they just sitting. They ain't sleeping because it's daytime, so they just sitting. It's raining hard, hard as I don't know what. Now by flooding, they out there just sitting, looking at each other. What else can they do? But the eagle is flying high. Sun is shining on him, and he ain't even looking down. Cause there's no need to look down. Ain't nothing down there but rain. So he's just flying on about his business. Going to the next spot. And that's how you gotta be. Cause the storms are gonna come. When the storms of life come. Do you wanna be sitting in a chicken coop with other chickens just looking? I hope we don't get flooded out again. I hope while we taking naps. Don't know weasel will come in here and gobble us up. Hope the uh, farmer don't come and stick his hands up under my butt and get these eggs and disrupt my sleep. But the eagle going on by his business. He might even go find him a little girlfriend and they go do what they going to do. Let me go on down here by this river and grab me some dinner. Scoop up a fish. Go eat. And the chicken just sitting there. It's hot in here. Who farted? God. <laughs> anyway that's my <laughs> this eagle is chilling it's somewhere eating his food and the chicken sitting in the chicken coop struggling because somebody farted you know animals fart too somebody farted and it's tight. Y'all ain't never, if you from the city, you ain't never seen no chicken coop. You need to go online. Them joints is tight. I'm from the country. I've seen chicken coops. <laughs> it's tight up in there. And there ain't no windows. It's just that door to go in and come out. <laughs> Somebody fart and it's hot. 
It's bad business up in there. But anyway, summing it all up to say, stay out of the chicken coop. Stop hanging around the people who are going to keep you down on their level because they just not trying. You know who they are. You got to be okay with that. They going to talk about you. They going to say you trying to be somebody you not. I won't go into no details of what I got called because I was trying to do different. I was trying to do better. I have seen better. And there ain't no difference between me and that other person. And better is different for, for different people. Better for me might be a million dollars a month. Better for some people is getting off of medication. Better for some people is being with somebody who's going to treat them right. Better for some people is getting their kids out of high school and teaching them right so that when they leave the house, they can live their lives in peace or for the most part. Better means different things for other people. But if your basic better is being threatened by people who don't want nothing, you got to reevaluate what's going on or don't complain. Don't complain about nothing. If you okay being in your mess and you're okay, you're okay with hanging with people who are okay with their mess, then you can't complain about nothing. You okay with it. You are fine with it. But me, mm -mm. I have seen too much. I have seen too many people have everything that they want in life. Not just uh, the money, but it's the peace. Beverly Ann Worthy Bozeman is going to have some peace. I don't care who I got to stop dealing with, who I'm going to have to be friends with, who I'm going to have to make peace with, what I'm going to have to pick, pick up and what I'm going to have to put down. I'm going to have me some peace on this side. Yes, sir. Say what you want to say. Feel how you want to feel. Just don't get in my way. I don't bother nobody and ain't going to let nobody bother me. That's your public service announcement for today. If ain't nobody bothering you, don't you bother them. Because God is not going to let people keep fooling with his people. Trying to hold them back. Trying to make them miserable. You can listen to them demons if you want to. I ain't mean to say all this. But you keep listening to the demons that you want to. And keep bothering these folks. You're going to wish you had never met them. Not saying that somebody going to do something to you, but God got a way of dealing with folk and mess with his people. Don't say you ain't know. But anyway, eagles, stay out of the chicken coop. If you don't know how to be an eagle, DM me and I'll give you some tips on how to be an eagle. I'm an eagle. Sometimes I fly by myself. Sometimes I fly with my mate. Sometimes I fly with other eagles who pass by every now and again. I'm going that way. Hey, girl, how you been? doing great oh me too whatever so anyways that's about it thank you guys so much for stopping by i really do appreciate it my book is um it's done diary of a first lady shiloh grammar i'm getting a package together for pre-orders the actual launch is june the 31st um when it's going to be like out available for the public or whatever but i'm putting a package together for those who want to pre-order there'll be some goodies that go along with it uh, the website is 95% up. That's what I'm waiting on the website to be finished so that you can have a place to go to. If you don't want to wait on the website and you want to go ahead and pre-order, DM me and I'll get you hooked up. There'll be a package with some free stuff, um, and all of that. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to release your genius, pull off the impossible every day. Let's be glamorous, godly girl.